Hey, Leo. I hope this message resonates. It's timeless. Take what you need and leave the rest for us. If you've contributed in any way to the channel, thank you so very much. So we're going to get started here. Okay. We have the Four of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Hmm. Are you collecting cups? We have the Three of Swords. It's like you're over one situation and hurt. A lot of hurt has been done to you, Leo. Okay. And you're saying, I need to get over this. I'm tired. I want to be in, a, in such a happier place, but you've been hurt so much. Okay. And a lot of things, home situations, love has really, really affected your life. You know, your, uh, your lifestyle in general and how you perceive life. It's almost as if things happen to you so much in a negative situation that, that you know that something's going to happen in a negative way. So it's like you prejudge a situation. You prejudge yourself out of because of what you've been through before and you're sick of it. You're over it. You're tired of being hurt. And you worry so much about getting hurt that you don't know any, any other way to feel, you know, because you're so used to getting hurt. You turn down offers. Or you don't pursue offers because you think it's going to fail. You, you think that everybody's out to hurt you or out to get you. Because we have the devil card here. Because you've been hurt. Five of swords in my readings is my hurt feelings card. You've been hurt. You've hurt other people or whatever. It's like you dish out what you give out, you know. And it's it's always something. It's always something with with Leo and how they and people how people mess with you. And you, you're just over it. You're tired of being hurt. And it's so much, it, it bothers you. It's, it's, it's becoming an obsession to worry about something and to worry about something about people you can't fix. You can't fix everybody. Okay. You have, you have offers coming to you, but you kind of, you don't, you don't believe that you can, that it's going to work. So you either ignore it or you don't pursue offers and you, you stay hung up in your head about it. You know, um, it's like you work extra hard at staying single or, or thinking that I'm going to keep myself out of the loop so I won't get hurt. It's like you put yourself in a timeout. You put yourself in the dark. You put yourself out in the cold so you want, so you can avert, avert trouble, avert heartache. You don't want to deal with anything, so you rather stay silent, okay? To prevent yourself from going through some hot mess. But we got, it's time for a change. We got the world card here. It's time for you to stop giving so little and give so much more than what, than what you think you can give. You have so much more to offer, but you keep giving page of cups. But you have a lot more to give to others. If you just allow yourself to get over whatever that's holding you back and really, really speak up for yourself, speak your mind and stop saying negative things or welcoming negative energy into your life. You got to let it go. You know, you've been hurt before. And you're and you're like worrying a little bit too much about it. Uh, focusing on a broken heart too much is really really affecting how you live your life. You know, you I don't know uh, what happened to you, but you feel even though I don't have a hermit car here, you just feel like you'd rather stay away from folks, you mind your own business, stay in your own place, and and just not get close to anybody, whether it's family members, friends, opportunities, or whatever, because you're tired of getting hurt. You're over it. You're so over it, you know, even if it means having to give up more opportunities, even if it means having to find love. But we have source. We have here's, here's the hermit. It came out the hermit. OK, definitely, you know, accepting the opportunities that are due you, but stop focusing on the hurt. And that's easier said than done. Some of you may even have to talk to a therapist if it bothers you so bad that it's limiting your life. It's stopping you from moving on to better opportunities. You just need to. You just, you just may need to talk to somebody and find your strength. Okay, find the inner strength that that you have, Leo. It's there. Just have to pull it out. Okay. The Queen of Swords and the Ace of Cups. So you're passing up opportunities that are that are due to you. You are like the Phoenix rising out of the ashes but for whatever reason you stay stuck in the ashes but you can clearly see your way out and, and receive these new blessings and these new opportunities but for whatever reason you know you don't know what's going to happen so you you fold you fold in you fold up and, and you it, it's like you let the opportunities pass you by and go go to the next person but you're the star 
you know, you're getting all of this, this energy, all of this beautiful energy, this pure, this purity about you that you don't even realize that you have. Okay, the Hierophant here, this is saying that your, your spirituality is very, very strong, it's very intact. Okay, believe in yourself, believe in God, believe the opportunities that are headed your way because they are there, but you're passing up opportunities because you're over and, and down with people hurting you or situations not working out. It's time for you to believe in yourself all over again. Okay. Okay, give me one um, word from Jesus for Leo, please. One word from Jesus, please. One word of encouragement for Leo. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but I will have a light of life. Okay, and that's the message from Jesus. Okay, I hope this message resonates with you, Leo. I hope it finds you well, and I'll talk to you soon.